All right, coming up next, a middleweight championship fight between Nick Diaz and Israel Adesanya. Representing Auckland, New Zealand, here is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. He comes to the octagon with a whole lot of kickboxing experience and success, and largely that is translated in the big show. He could have come to the UFC several years ago. He wanted to make sure that he was ready, and the early returns are that he is most definitely ready. The takedown defense has been tested early on in his UFC career. Largely, it has held up. Let's see if Israel Adesanya can excite the masses yet again tonight. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, some differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record now. 15 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last battle bender, Alistair. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Body out of Stockton, California, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Nick All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I'm not gonna get after it. You ready? You ready? Go, Schedule go for five rounds if need be. Oh, Diaz, his uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Wow! That left high kick came out of nowhere. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice strike landed there by Diaz. Well-placed kick there by Adesanya. Oh, he just missed with that straight left hand, wow. Joe. Oh. He is clearly in big, big trouble. The champ is in deep danger right now. He is desperately trying to hang on. Just misses with the straight left hand. That one hurt. 
try to establish that jab. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Nice jab by Diaz. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. How about that chin? Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Diaz gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Found the target with that left hand, Joe. Using his jab effectively here, it's an underutilized weapon by a lot of fighters, not this guy. Three minutes in our opening round. Oh, nice straight punch there by Diaz. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Switching stances here. Visibly limping here. Nice jab there by Adesanya. Using his jab effectively here, Joe. Oh, leg kick is good. Nice hook there by Diaz. And a good jab. gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Clean punch. Well, he's got a strong jab. Missed with it there, though, Joe. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. He ch he's checking every single one of those. Oh, another crisp jab lands flush. Nice way to keep the opponent at distance there. Oh, he missed that kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, head kick. 90 seconds now remain in the round. Diaz gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Good combination so far from both men. He landed that inside leg kick. Trying to get a single. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant. Start this round off and move. Oh! Big shot. Two shots there. Whoa. This could be it. Wow. Nice leg kick. Slips. Oh. They continue to exchange. Good shots by the champion. Well, 
Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So oh, it looked like he it did start him, a little bit. It. This could be it right here. Miss with that jab attempt there. Oh! What a leg kick! That one appeared to stun him. He's hit. Oh! He tagged him again. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Diaz gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet despite having a seemingly dominant position on the ground. And there he swung with the haymaker. Oh, tags him with that uppercut, Joe. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. Pretty strong jab there by Diaz. Works the double underhooks here. Diaz gets absolutely punished by that head kick. And there's a takedown attempt. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, Diaz's shot is blocked. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southpaw here, Joe. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Blocks the shot. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Two minutes remain in the rounds. And a left hand behind it. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. Nice leg kick there. Missed the mark. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Oh! Joe and counters with the takedown. Back up to his feet again. Checks that leg kick. Diaz gets in the clinch. One underhook here. Final miss. Now he's in full guard. Hits the elbow there. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. And back up again. Inside leg kick is there by Adesanya. And he eats a high one. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Nice jab by Adesanya. Good job of timing this combination of strikes here. Hit him oh, hard with that hook. That one has some steam on it. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Good combination by Diaz. Oh! oh Entertaining scrap so far. Archer the this well pretty badly. It hasn't swollen shut, but if it... What an action-packed yeah. round. It looked like it almost ended on... Uh, you ready? You ready? Let's go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, you gotta love this performance here tonight, Joe. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round, and seemingly not slowing down at all here tonight. Effective punch there by Diaz. Nice kick to the body, shin to the gut. Big oh, power in that hook. Lands right to the target, Joe. Oh, 
just out of range with the straight left hand. Adesanya goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there, nothing doing on that attempt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Diaz gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Israel Adesanya's strike attempt there is blocked. Good combinations landing here. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Good defense there. Stiff jab. Wham! The right and the left behind it. You can clearly sense that momentum has shifted in favor of the champion now. Oh, continues to land those jabs at will. Nice way to keep the opponent at distance. Going to the body there with the right kick. Adesanya's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. now. Israel Adesanya gets back up. Watch the shot here, Joe. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh! He's in big, big trouble here. The champ is in deep danger here. He's really hurt, and he is going to lose his title if he can't recover. Eats a, a nice right hand. Oh, Diaz's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Oh! Landed a hard kick for the knockout. I should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. Let's get a better look at it from a different angle. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Liliano is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by Nope, and...